Hey guys, it's Gerard here from the Message Church. I'm one of the pastors here at the Message Church. We're based on the southern tip of Africa in uh, Cape Town. In particular, we're based at the foot of the University of Cape Town. That's where we gather. Yeah, it's a real privilege for me to share a little bit about what God is doing in the midst of our community. My personal missional journey started about a decade ago when I joined the Message Church and the senior pastor at the time and the eldership were wrestling with well, what does it mean to be the church? What does it mean to be the church in particular in Cape Town in 2010? What does that look like? And as we wrestled through these things, we realized that to be the church wasn't about impressive buildings, well-run meetings or programs, or even large numbers at services. To be the church meant to be about the good news, to be about the gospel, to be about Jesus and his kingdom. And one of the things about the gospel is we think of when Jesus says to Nicodemus in John 3, you need to be born again. We're born again into the family of God. We're given a new identity. We realize that one of those identities is that Jesus calls us to be his faithful witnesses, to be missionaries. It's not something we add on to life, but it's something we live out. It's who we've been transformed to be. We are missionaries, faithful witnesses, bearing salt and light in the city of Cape Town. And that was a little bit of my personal journey as we, as we thought about what it means to be church. And we're really thrilled about what God is doing in the midst of our community. In order to be missional, we've got to locate ourselves within the story of God. As I said, it's, we want to regularly, as the eldership and leaders of the church from the pulpit, from the gospel communities, in our preaching and teaching, we want to emphasize regularly that to be a Christian, to be a follower of Jesus means to be saved into a new identity. One of those, and we regularly at the message emphasize five identities. We are family, we are missionaries, we are disciples, we are worshipers, and we are servants of Jesus. And so by regularly teaching and preaching on the fact that we are missionaries, we don't become missionaries. We are missionaries when we're saved into the kingdom of God. And therefore we want to encourage people to think about how can we be salt and light in the areas of where we live, in the areas of where we work, in the areas of where we socialize and play and hang out, we want, to, we want people to see themselves as missionaries. And in that vein, we, we have to, we've, we've accompanied some structures to enable the church to do that. One of the things is gospel community. And here, once a quarter, instead of having a big church meeting, we meet in smaller groups where we seek to invite our neighbors and our colleagues and our friends into a more intimate setting where we can do church. And here, the hope is that we'd answer apologetic questions. Why does God allow suffering? Is Christianity a white man's religion? Can we trust the Bible? And so there are various ways in that we're trying to be missional. And that is just a few of them and what we're trying to do at the Message Church. One of the things we've learned is that we can talk, we can conceptualize, we can strategize about how to be missional. But we really just got to start. We just got to put it into practice. We've got to start with a small group of people and just go deep. And hopefully that the vision of the church and the, and the idea of being missional will be, will, will be caught. And I think in that vein, we've realized that, you know, ministry, or living out identities is something that's going to be caught rather than taught. This is not to downplay teaching. We should teach and we should emphasize teaching. But really, this has got to be modeled. People have got to see what it means to be missional. What it means to live as salt and light in Cape Town in, in 2010, in 2022. What does it mean to, to, to speak the gospel, to share the gospel, to love your neighbors, to bless others? That's got to be seen and that's got to be modeled firstly from the leadership. And that's vitally important to living out the missional identity. Another thing we've learned is that critical mass is important. We're a student church and student numbers circulate as people graduate and move on is that it's, once you lose critical mass, it's, it's very difficult to get that back going. And so you've got to be regularly emphasizing and, and teaching and modeling and showing and coaching and not taking for granted that people know. And that's a few lessons we've learned 